back in middle school, there was this girl. She wasn't the cutest girl in the world, but I had this thing where I always encouraged girls to physically touch me in some way when I was in middle school. And this girl in particular was really awesome because what would happen is that she would sometimes pinch me. Like, it'd be the kind of thing where we'd be coming from class because we both take the same bus. It was basically a van that took us to where we lived after middle school was over. So it would be the kind of thing where I would see her. I might say something, you know, kind of stupid just to kind of, you know, mess with her a little bit. And what would happen is she sometimes would do like little things like, you know, when we're on the bus, for example, or when we're like on the van, she'll sometimes take her fingers and she'll like, you know, pinch a part of my arm, but she'll do it like really like, I don't know how to, how to describe it, but she'll just basically pinch really hard to make it actually hurt. And the thing is, I actually would pretend that she was actually like, you know, making it painful for me. Like I actually put me in pain, but in reality, I enjoyed it and I, and I didn't want her to stop. So I would basically pretend that it was hurting me. And what made it even more sexy was that because she was one of those girls that was a little bit, she was kind of like an evil girl essentially because most girls wouldn't like try to pinch you to the point of hurting you, but she was the kind of chick that she would pinch me. And when I pretended to yell in pain, she would basically mock me. Like I would be like, oh, and she basically would react uh, the same way. Like she would, she, she would make the same sound that I did like, oh, but she would do it in a way where she's mocking me, like she's making fun of me because of the fact that I'm in pain and I'm expressing it. And it just made me so hot to, you know, because of the fact that she was like doing that, the fact she was pinching me and the fact that she was making fun of me at the same time. And truth be told, as I'm sitting here telling the story, I'm actually kind of getting a boner because like, it is just so fucking hot. It's one of the things that I miss about being in middle school because it was so easy to come across girls who were just bitches, you know, like they, they were just bitches and they didn't care. It's like one issue that I have in my life now, since I've become like a quote unquote adult is that most girls are just nice. They're, they're just your stereotypical next door, good girls. They would never try to do anything, you know, remotely not nice or anything. And I find that to just be so fucking boring. Like, I guess you can kind of say that even though I'm a dude, there's a part of me that kind of prefers bad girls, maybe in a way that's a little similar to how girls prefer bad boys. Cause it's like, I feel like the, the world is just so fucking oversaturated with fucking goody two shoes, nice living life by the book women. And we need more like freaking like girls who just don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like I wish that girl who pinched me and didn't give a fuck. I wish I could find more girls like that in my life, dude. Like, seriously, like, like those were the good old days, man. I remember there was another thing where, like, I would be standing in the hallway and shit, right? And I was kind of like a really fat kid. Like, I had, you know, I pretty much had, like, these man boobs or whatever. And what would sometimes happen is that you would get these chicks who would, like, randomly, like, walk across the hallway and just start rubbing my stomach. They, they would just be, like, rubbing my tummy. And I think they would make... If you remember that uh, Pillsbury Doughboy commercial where, 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 where the Pillsbury thing is like, hum, hum, or whatever the fuck he says, like a lot of times they would rub my belly as they're like walking through the hallway and they would actually poke it and it'd be like, hum. it was like so freaking sexy, dude, like so fucking sexy. And I used to love it. Like, I, of course, when I was in middle school, I had to pretend like I hated it because, you know, you have to save face and shit. So you have to be like, oh, I, you know, she, oh, she, she's such a bitch for doing that. But in reality, I loved it. It was so sexy and it was so hot and I loved it. So um, there was another incident where I was wearing a white shirt. And that same girl who used to pinch me, what she would do is she, she'd basically be eating some kind of chocolate from a wrapping paper or whatever. She would walk past me and, you know, she would still have some chocolate on her fingers. She would take her hand and she would wipe off the chocolate that was on her fingers on my white shirt. And I remember it was just the sexiest thing ever because she didn't give a fuck. Like I knew she didn't give a fuck and I loved it. And one of her friends actually came, walked past me. She saw what the other girl did and she did the same thing. And I was just like, oh yeah, baby. Like, of course I had to pretend like I hated it. I had to pretend like I was pissed off. I had to be like, you stupid chick. You actually, I can't wash uh, the stains out because of what you did. And even though I said that, the girl who, who originally did it didn't give a fuck. She said, eh, whatever. And she just walked away. I was so fucking sexy, dude. I was so fucking sexy. That's what I'm talking about, man. I love me some bad girls, dude. I think the final incident I'll talk about is one where there was this girl in my class. And what she did is she would take her fingers and start flicking my titties. Like, it'd be the kind of thing where she would massage them because I was a fat kid and I had really big, fat-ass man titties. So she would take her fingers and she would start rubbing them and she would start making sounds like, bloop, bloop. Like, she'd basically be making them as she's rubbing them up and down, like, bloop, 
boop. Like, like just imagine somebody saying that as they're like totally like flicking, taking their fingers and just taking your titties and going up down like boop, 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 boop. It was so sexy. Anyways, that's all I want to say. Bye.